Good evening, everybody. You want a really good pair of shoes if you live anywhere near us, up here in the wild north of Canada. Well, not that far north, in around the Winnipeg area. I found these guys. Now, I know it's May 9th, 2023. Why am I doing a review on these boots now? Well, number one, we just got into spring. It's finally just starting to warm up. There is snow, still some snow in ditches and in some of the wooded areas around our place, but it's 20 something above today and it's fantastic. I also was just kind of just looking around and I noticed these things are on sale. So if you're looking for a good pair of winter boots, I think these are, are well worth you taking a look at. So let's get into them. These are the Sorel Men's Buxton Pull-On Boot. When I was researching some new winter boots, man, it was really tough. I couldn't find any good information and these things had some really mixed reviews and I was kind of a little, little worried about them. Number one is everybody that I saw almost to a T on the reviews indicated it was very hard to get your foot into these things and it was very narrow in this area here and difficult to slip in. Th that was the biggest concern that I heard. Uh, number two, uh, some of them failing in the seams and stuff like that. I, I think that happens with just about any boot. I had a nice pair of Columbia's that did that. I, I've had other boots that have done that. It's just one of those things that can happen. But for these guys, I, I, I have a size 11 narrow-ish foot. I fit a Merrill size 11 really well. Um, and I think these are a fantastic match to that Merrill kind of fit. The first five, 10, 15 times you put these on, yeah, you kind of have to really stick your foot in there and kind of really force it down. But there's a reason for that. And the reason is, if we look deep inside the boot, hopefully you guys can see, right in here, it's really well padded. And you can see how it's gonna cup your heel there. Below that, it's kind of more open. And with the elastic-y stuff on the side, it holds on to your feet really well. So much so, I was worried that, you know, what am I gonna do? Like, you need laces to hold your winter boots on, right? Not these things. They are really comfortable. The other thing is that, hey, you go out to the mall, you go out shopping, uh, you go to the uh, rink for your, your kid's hockey game or a ringette game, or uh, you're just shoveling snow. Are these gonna be warm enough? I can tell you right now, in Canada, they are. Uh, I was wearing these down to about minus 30 and I was perfectly comfortable, but I was also perfectly comfortable wearing them in, indoors, shopping at the mall, at the hockey rink. They were just sort of the perfect level for most stuff. Now, if it's minus 40 howling winds and you have to be out for hours and hours and hours, you know, shoveling or standing around, yeah, you're going to need the baffins or something crazy like that. But for daily work, daily activity, to and from work, they were great. They slip on, they slip off. I've mentioned before in some of my other stuff, I got some gammy ankles and I really struggle with trying to bend over and, and put shoes on. These things slip on nice. The other thing is the soles. They really have kind of a, a very soft, but not completely squishy sole. It grips on anything but glare ice. And let's be honest, other than if you have spikes on your shoes, Glare ice is just dangerous. It, it, you're going for a spin if you're not careful. Having worn these for probably about four, four and a half months, you know, they're not showing a ton of wear. Whereas some of the really soft soles, you wear them that much, this is going to be all worn out in like half a winter type of thing. They are waterproof. I slopped around. You can see some schmucks and everything else like that from the spring. 
I had no concerns wearing these things in some minor puddles. Again, it's waterproof all the way up to here for sure. How much passed? Well, they say the suede is waterproof. I didn't really test that. I'll be honest, I, I didn't go that crazy. But I think they look pretty good. They look a bit thick and a bit chunky on your feet, but hey, it's winter time. I would rather look goofy and have warm feet than worry about how what people are thinking. They got nice strong loops on the back to be able to pull your foot in. And like I said, this really hold, locks your foot in really nice. So you're not clumping around as you're walking through the snow or in the mall or, or around town, you're not gonna have to worry about these things kind of sliding down, sliding off your feet. That's why they're tough to get in. But once you kind of work them in a little bit and the suede starts to sort of conform to your foot a bit more, they really are comfortable and they really do stick on your feet quite well. I can't think of anything else about these other than the biggest frustration for me, I guess with everybody, is I'm a cheap Canadian. I like a deal. When I got these, they were $180. I ordered them from Sorel uh, Canada themselves. That's Canadian funds. Right now, they're on sale for 107 bucks. So if you need a pair of winter boots, these might be a f just phenomenal steal at this point in time. Why not, eh? I don't know, I can't say enough good things about them. I really like them. But if you have a chance, try them on. Because if you have a very stiff ankle and you can't get it in, and you can't what's called dorsiflex your ankle, so kind of slide it in and get that into the toe area, you might have some issues with that. If you have a very rigid foot, so if you have like a, a big high arch, you may not like these as much. Now, if we look inside, let's take the foot insole out. It's a pretty average insole, you know. The guys at Roseanville would laugh at this, but you can see how it started to mold to my foot a little bit um, quite nicely. This is my gammy ankle that doesn't move so well. So again, I can get it in there fairly well. If we look deep inside here, all the stitching, I don't know if you can see, sorry about that. All the stitching is around the outside. So my impression on that is this is called a board lasted type of shoe. So basically the outside of the uh, upper is kind of sewn down into the footbed. I like that. They're more stable, especially on uneven ground. What is winter? It's nothing but constant uneven ground. So, you know, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you have these? Have you had problems with them? Do you like them? Do you not like them? To me, I think these are probably the most useful boots I have right now. And I had a, a nice pair of Columbia's, which for whatever reason, were a pain to get on. They were so rigid in the foot, they always gave me problems, but they were nice shoes and, and boots and they kept my feet sort of warm. These, 100 times better. Hey, if you like a little bit of what we're doing here, if you wanna throw me a little subscribe or a little, little little thumbs up type of thing. I would really appreciate that. Otherwise, go out, keep your feet warm, get some good shoes, make a mess in the shop, have some fun, and I'll catch you next time.